Those sassy bells are at it again, and this time, someone is tying the knot. We're talking about Tuscaloosa native Beth Albright's latest novel. Right here, folks, it's not even out yet. <laughs> Wedding Bells it comes out July 30th, and the cool thing about it is the fictional novel based on sassy women from Tuscaloosa, Beth, which I think is just oh, so awesome. And I miss them, We're and so, so that's glad you're why. Back. Thank you, thank you for having me. Sure, I know sure. it's it's been quick. It's been like you know eight weeks, and I was the books were coming out though back to back to yeah. back. So, but the whole experience has been so amazing. It's been so fast. I know when you were here a few weeks ago, we were talking about Sassy Bells, the first book. Yeah. And the second book, Wedding Bells, carries a story along, doesn't yes, it? Yes, yes. Tell, tell the folks a little bit for those of us who have read Sassy Bells and are familiar <laughs> with those characters. What happened? Thank y'all, by the way, for reading Sassy Bells. Yeah, the numbers have been phenomenal. And it's, of course, I thank Tuscaloosa. Yeah. They support their own. Um, what happens with Wedding Bells is at the, at the end, you see it just, it's just going to pick up a heartbeat away. Um, and so we want to see now Vivian Lewis try to go tie the knot. But there's a secret. And when they go to tie the knot, it just might not happen. There's the baby on the way, so there's pressure with that. There's, um, you know, the football games and football season starting, and Lewis has got his hands full because he's a play-by-play -play announcer. And uh, by the end, we've got crazy wedding planners. My favorite characters in this book are these wedding planners. Oh, my gosh. I want to meet them in person myself. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, you know, and they're kind of based, everybody's loosely based on people I've known in my life from Tuscaloosa because, as you know, the entire reason these books began were not for me to be a novelist. It was because I was homesick and I couldn't afford therapy. So <laughs> I'm so like, so let me writing. just pretend I'm there. You know? So you just made up stories about people <laughs> sure. that you miss and places yeah. that you loved. And it's yeah. so descriptive in your books when you describe you. them that you really feel like you're right there. Thank you. Well, I wanted to ask you real quickly, what in, you just mentioned it right there that you were homesick, but these particular women are so strong. It reminds me of, of the designing women yes. that, you, that we used to see Thank back you. in the 80s. Yeah. Um, what inspired you to make them so strong? And well, there's a lady sitting right over there named Mother. <laughs> And anybody who knows her, she is the sassiest belle you've ever met. And truthfully, I just come from, those are the women I know. Uh -huh. Not only was it my family, I mean, those were my mother's friends. Mm -hmm. And then they were, grew up and became my friends, you know. Mm -hmm. My friends are like that to this day. Mm -hmm. And the woman that I dedicated this book to has been my sister since we were young teenagers. And she was diagnosed with ovarian cancer two weeks into this book. Wow. And I almost called my editor and said, can't do it. Mm -hmm. And she said, no, I need to laugh. Do this for right. me. So I dedicated it to her. This is what the strongest person I know, Susan, right. and my friend Lynn, and my mother's friend Faye Hubbard. And I mean, I can go down the list. Right. That's who a Southern woman is to me. Right. They That's... carry the load, mm -hmm. but we do it looking great. <laughs> My favorite bar. Where are your pearls and lipstick, honey? Well, this is just book number two, We've, and, and it comes out. Wedding Bells comes out July 30th, so everyone can get their copies of the books. I know you're doing some book signings yes. in Birmingham this I week. I am. I'm going to be all the books a million. We're so wonderful. Right. Invited me to come and do a quick whirlwind. Right. So right. the, the book signings are coming up tomorrow. It's uh, Hoover at 2 o'clock. Okay. And then um, Brookwood Mall is going to be from 6 to 8. So, so people can get your chance to meet Beth in person. Yes. And, get and another one on Wednesday in Fultondale at, Bar at uh, Books Mill. All right. And there was the information on the screen. Wedding Bells of July 30th. Yes. And then Sleigh Bells, the third <sighs> book, comes out in October. And you're going to come back with us yes, and give us a preview of that one. Yes, I'm doing a huge one. another book launch party at okay. Barnes & Noble on the 29th of September. Okay. Everybody mark your calendars because I want to see you again. We had a party okay. that, that day. So well, thank we'll, you I'll again. Be Thank, Thank you, you so Jane. much, Thank Beth. You. All right, more news at 5 right after this.